Returning deck donator Sinpai has a Hate Bears deck that will send all the Beseech the Mirrors packing. Lavinia, Dranith Magistrate, Boromir, and Teferi with the classic Knowledge Pool Lockout. Okay, here we go. Second Vintage League of the Night. I have a donation deck list from Senpai. We're going to replay Senpai's earlier donation deck list of uh, Teferi, Knowledge Pool, Dranith Magistrate uh, deck. And it's going to be actually kind of nice in this current metagame because it has a lot of creatures that hate on uh, combo. So we're going to play Dranith Magistrate, which is your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. We're going to play Lavinia, which is people can't cast non... Uh, opponents can't cast non... Creature spells that have mana cost greater than the number of lands they control, and also if they cast a spell that costs zero, it gets countered. Boromir also is if an opponent plays a spell that has spends no mana to cast it, counter it. Uh, to fairy read, you can only cast spells at any time you could cast an instant speed. And the combo with knowledge pool is that uh, the spells cast off of knowledge pool are one not from your hand, and two uh, cost zero, and three are not at sorcery speed. So, if we put in any of our uh, 11 hate pieces here, it's not 11, Justin can't do math, 15 hate pieces here, and put a knowledge pool in play, we will lock our opponent out of casting spells. Uh, we are going to supplement this plan with Cavern of Souls, naming human for our human soldier, human wizard, human soldier, and human warrior. Uh, decided to just throw some seasoned dungeoneers in here to end, we need a, we need a clock to end the game. So, we have uh, Force of Will and Lorian fixing our uh, mana, and we've got a bunch of restricted blue cards. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this deck is going to eat up on decks playing quick combos uh, and free spells, and besides that, hopefully lock our opponents out of the game. We'll see what happens. The last time we played this, it was a blast, or just a great time, so I'm pretty happy to see Senpai donate to see this deck played. Onward and upward. Are you interested in weekly vintage metagame recommendations? Do you want to see your deck list played on my channel? Or maybe you are just looking for the best way to support my vintage content. Make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below. Let's battle. Okay, here we go, round one. We did make a quick change before the start of the league. We just brought the Sphinx into the main and took a seasoned Dungeoner out, just so we have a second Tinker target. This hand is casting early Lauren reveal. Lauren, I keep saying Lauren. <laughs> Lorien reveals, so let's do it. Really? That's that. It just doesn't look like a very playable pile, but I don't know what modern's happening in modern, anyways. Ancient tomb, sapphire, is it jewel? <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. I can't even search up a um planes. Wow, we got a jewel gamer. Our deck should be really good against Jewel, for what it's worth. We have so many things that are good against Jewel. Half of our half of our deck just counters their deck. But they were on the play and played a Trinisphere, which is notably bad for us. Yep, here comes a Jewel. <laughs> oh, man. This is like the ideal matchup, though. We have four Lavinias in our deck. Oh man, they fixed the metamorph bug. Unlucky for us. So if we can draw... You used to not be able to play metamorph underneath the Trinisphere for its uh, intended mana cost of 3 and 2 life. Alright, so if we can draw Lavinia... If we draw on this turn, we draw Lavinia, I think we can still win this game. We didn't do that. Yeah, I think we can still beat him, though, if we had a Lavinia. So I can Teferi and bounce their Trinisphere, and then I have to draw a Sapphire...
no, no. Street Wraith is a bad card. Lorian is a good card. Don't, 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 don't cut the, don't cut the good cards. Well, Time Walk is like kind of our way through the whole situation. But unfortunately, I don't think that's good enough to hold now. So we even have null rods in our board. This matchup has got to be great. Don't. Boromir is so much worse than Lavinia. What am I doing? Am I just bouncing Trinosphere playing Boromir? Doesn't feel like a winning line. Guess we could draw a force. Bounce, Metamorph, Pass. In what world is that the best line? We could bounce Saga and hope they don't have any way to go forward. Just don't think that's good. All right, I'm going to try to draw a force off this. Because we have a Teferi in play, so our force would actually just work. But now we got nothing. Yeah, I'm not... I don't have any hopes for this game. I do believe our opponent has bested us in the arena of ideas. You don't know Boromir, Warden of the Tower? Come on, this is a staple Magic the Gathering card. From the Magic the Gathering universe. No relation to uh, Tolkien in any way. No, we could have hit not me if we had gone for my original line of Teferi try to draw Sapphire time walk into draw knowledge pool. That would have worked. They're just casting jewels. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we can possibly ever win this game. <laughs> don't don't see the way forward here. I guess in some world where they like pick up all their stuff and then pass the turn and we play a knowledge pool uncounterable. Then we still need to beat. All right, get me out of here. All right. We still have to beat Construct Tokens? Okay, alright, 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 alright. So the good news is, not only is my deck great against their deck, I also have Triple Null Rod to bring in. So we'll take out Sphinx. And we'll take out some of these Dranith Magistrates, I guess. And then we'll take out Swords. We don't need that. Take out Mist Up. We don't really need that. Could bring in a Hercules, I guess. Seems okay. Not the greatest, but it's, a, it's an answer. Just take out two, take out Dungeoneer and a Magistrate. Submit. But yeah, our opponent got us with the turn one Trinisphere. It happens. We didn't have our force. But now we're on the play, and we have Lavinia uncounterable on turn two, though. Turn two, though. Ah. Uh, it's probably not good enough. Damn. All right, I guess we're guess we're keeping it. I don't think I'm going to go to five. I'm just going to have to hope they don't turn one kill me, and then we can resolve our Lavinia, and we'll be in a great spot. I was hoping for an on-color Moxon, but that's, you know, that's kind of asking for a lot, I guess. <laughs> I 
don't know if I agree with that statement. The jewel deck is very good at killing you on turn one. Though now they do that whole thing where they have the ring. And the ring is a lot better for the Cavern Lavinia part of this. No, no, I don't want you to Q-snipe me. I just wanted to play Magic. <laughs> Tinker has been exiled. Sensei's top. Combination gaming. Sensei's top is pretty good against what we have going on here. Kind of unfortunate because they only have one top in their deck, but. All right, so they can play things that cost one. Yeah, but how many, like, answers to Lavinia are even in their deck? And then next turn, we can just bounce this Forge. This was probably one of the best possible things they could have hit off the top of this forge. So it is bad for us. I agree. You don't have to sell me on that. No, we do not need a land for... Oh, we do need a land for Teferi. Yikes. True. Oh, awesome. That's fantastic. Maybe I won't finish two leagues tonight. <laughs> this is like our only good matchup in the entire format and we're just getting crushed by it <laughs> kataki doesn't do anything Kataki is just not good enough for for vintage in 2023. Kataki is just a bad card. But what, what is Kataki doing against my opponent's deck? Look at look at how much mana they have. What does Void Mirror do? Nothing. They have a million colorful mana. I don't even think Null Rod does it. To be honest, they probably have a. Yeah, I don't even think it does it. Well, well, I guess we're going to find out together, aren't we? Because this is uncounterable with Lavinia in play. It might do it. <laughs> well, they can't play uh, anything above a two drop currently through the rod. <laughs> if we hit a land... Well, now we need to hit multiple lands, unfortunately. But... We have a much better chance now that we have a null rod. For sure. I mean, we, we are still probably losing, but we have a chance. It's okay, Chess Knight. Everybody has a void mirror phase, and then eventually you grow out of it. Tied to Constructs? We have multiples of fairy time ravelers. I don't really see that being an issue. Yeah, you tell him, Jess. You tell him. Oh, they have Dismember now, though. Oh, no. 
And then we died. <laughs> I can't believe my opponent has the stupid Teleria to count it. It's just crazy. Stand up Mystic Forge, get in there. Now they're just going to play a lot. Oh, do we win if they lattice lock each other? We do. Maybe that's our way out. That's our way out, chat. If opponent gets a, a, a Mycosynth lattice here with a no rod in play, neither player can cast any spells and opponent mills out first. That's our that's our out. We have an out. We have an out. An out is a scene. Come on, baby. You can do it, paid actor. Paid actor. Lattice is a win for us. I'm gonna slip them the <laughs> slip them the 20 tickets. Open the trade window. <gasps> it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lattice. Lattice. Show me Lattice. Show me Lattice. Please. I need the win. I need to continue to play Magic. No! They got Worm Coil Engine. God. Where are the free wins? All right. Well, I'm done with this. Let's go next. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Here we go. Round two. Let's try again. We're probably playing against Blue White Lurus Control. I don't know how to get their Luris onto my screen, though. It's still, like, hanging out. Well, they haven't revealed it yet. That's why. Maybe it'll work this time. What if I double-click it? Will it full-screen itself? Hmm. All right, they revealed a Luris. And it pops up on my other screen, but too high for me to click. Oh, I got it! The cat's back. There you go. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Three Lavinias. Uh, good luck has been called, but I don't have it. Am I supposed to just keep this? There's no way. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is these are Magic the Gathering cards if I've ever seen them. Keep bottom. Can I bottom Ruby here? So I can probe and still force with Mystical? I feel like I can. All right, opponent, show me your secrets. Wasteland, Wasteland, Wasteland. Tundra, Tundra, Spell Pierce, Cathar Commando. How do you keep these hands? Who does this? I don't understand. I don't understand how people play magic. <laughs> I kind of want my Mox, my Mox Ruby back. Good thing I have Lorien revealed and not Street Wraith. Well, I can't cast this Teferi into a Spell Pierce, can I? So maybe I wasn't supposed to play this Tundra. I'm just going to get Wastelanded every turn. I guess I can just force the Spell Piers. Fuck it, I'll force the Spell Piers. What else am I doing? All right, well, now I get Wastelanded, but at least I can play something. No, oh, they're not Wastelanding me. Let me. see. That means I get to play a seasoned Dungeoneer, which I can only imagine is good for my future prospects.
Yeah, I mean, if they draw swords, it's bad for me. I agreed, but like, we're gonna, we're gonna wait for them to draw swords, like. All right, I know their hand is Wasteland, Wasteland, Cathar Commando, so. They're doomed. All right, so I'm going to forge. Let's get this game going. Oh, they're locked out. This is this is locked out of the game gaming, right? I think we have achieved the lock. Wait, I shouldn't have attacked. Whatever, I'll just play in New Teferi. It's fine. And bounce one of their things. I should not have attacked here, for anyone in chat wondering. Oh, wait. No, now I'm screwed. <laughs> uh, hmm. I guess I can just play Bormir and get a Sphinx. Does it lock us both out? Yeah, but I can bounce the Lavinia. I guess it's fine. I'll just bounce the Lavinia. How much mana do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I actually don't have enough to bounce Lavinia. Oh, I can just bounce Lavinia and put a thing, and then I no, then I. I mean, it's fine if I get things if I get stolen from me, right? I can just leave my. I guess my Teferi can't stay in place. So let's just play a new Teferi, and get the lock in place. I mean, I could just play Sphinx, but then it just dies to Cathar Commando, so it's, like, really bad. So let's just go to Fairy. I shouldn't have attacked. If I didn't attack, it was, like, super straightforward and easy, but because I attacked, it's not good. Um, I'll just bounce this Lavinia. Oh, no, but then they attack my Teferi. And they unlock themselves. And they can also just Cathar Commando the, the Knowledge Pool. Okay, so nothing is good here. Awesome. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so I just have to play this Bormir and block and I just do the attacking. So maybe the Knowledge Pool combo wasn't even good because I had to get rid of both of their creatures anyways. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, cool. They got rid of this. So now, now we're good to knowledge pool my opponent. We're also good just to attack him twice, for what it's worth. <laughs> or I guess maybe it's once. Is it once? They're at how much? Nine? Good God. Yeah, well, we came here to knowledge pool, didn't we? So... Knowledge pool. Get them. <laughs> we, we came here for one reason. <laughs> All right, I have assembled the lock. The lock has been assembled. <laughs> the most... Un yeah, we're locked, but we're going to win the game. We have the Undercity and a Teferi in play. So eventually our Teferi goes to four, bounces the Lavinia, and then we're unlocked. Or we can literally attack twice and win. <laughs> we have we have locked our opponent. Let's go. Let's go. Clap, clap. All right. Do I want swords in this matchup? Yeah, probably. Sphinx looks pretty bad. I'm actually not even sure I want the Tinker, but I, I kind of want the Knowledge Pool, but not the Tinker. Is that is that a wild assumption that we can do with the things and the stuff? Uh, no, nah, no, nah, I'll just keep it all. It's fine. I will trim a Dranith Magistrate and a Boromir. Got him. Submit. CEDH? Is this good enough for CEDH? <laughs> this is some Sinpai nonsense, which is always a good time, so. Okay, keep. Keeps, keep, absolutely. Now I'm getting rewarded with just some of the most beautiful hands known to man. This is just peak. 
All right, well, now they know my Hell Hand, so that's less than ideal. Hope they don't play Tarmon Lavinia. This deck is so good. Look at it. <laughs> All right, so fetch a Plains and play a... We could get spell pierced here, I guess. So the what we probably want to do is fetch. Play a sapphire, play a lotus, play a Lavinia without fetching. No, we do want to fetch because we want to make blue. Don't think we're going to play around Mindbreak Trap for what it's worth. I don't think we're gonna play around wasteland either because i don't really want to fetch i guess i can fetch planes here it's fine i have a lorian all right so this resolves so i can still ancestral through a spell pierce which i want to i don't want to save it for dungeoneer i think it's fine all right show me your secrets Serenity, Lavinia, Spell Pierce, Brainstorm, Flooded Strand. And this is also a keep? I guess. I don't know how to play those blue control decks. It's fine. I definitely successfully played around Spell Pierce in this turn. I can tell you that much. Okay, so opponent end of turn brainstorms, and then maybe they play Lavinia, I guess. I got swords, though, and they know about swords, so probably not. Maybe they put back Serenity, don't know. Oh, they top decked Ancestral. That's a good one. Human, that's a good top deck too. Love it. Love a good cavern on Human. So they kind of need a wasteland. They found a wasteland. Okay, Lavinia. Damn it, Lavinia! Why why do you do this to me? Jerk face. <laughs> Just stopping me from playing my Moxin for my seasoned dungeoneer. The beatdowns are here though. This thing's kind of large and in charge. 3-3. Three, three. We drew the Tinker. So if we just cast Tinker right now, we just win, right? Unless they have a Swords in response, and then things get fucking... No, I have a Boromir as well. Okay, so I just Tinker, and I can pay for Spell Pierce, and I get a Knowledge Pool, I pay for Spell Pierce. Oh, they have two Spell Pierces? Oh! Spell Pierce hard cast days. All right, so be it. I did not see the Spell Pierce hard cast days coming. Unlucky, really. Library of Alexandria. Love it. Wood Library again. All right, I can just Swords a Flash creature here. I guess I can get dazed by if I do this, but whatever. There's no way they play a Wrath of God, right? Even if they did, I actually have Bomir. Sacrifice creatures you can creatures you control are indestructible. God bless. Wait, this deck slaps. I'm the real blue-white deck. 
Get your Luris, get your cat out of here. I'm the true blue white player. What a good time. What is this? What is this? What is this? Gush? Resolvers. You went out like a champ opponent. I appreciate that. All right. We're doing it again. What do we got? We got force. We got fast mana. Blue cards. Okay. This sets up a pretty early... Um, that doesn't really do anything, actually. Never mind. But, you know, it's got it's got good cards, though. Why does every Saga player have a soul ring? Should I force this? Ah, screw it. Saga Gamer. What, you got another spell too? Jeez. This is the person who turned one Tinker Dust, right? What do I need to draw? Lotus? Lotus looks good. Yeah, I guess Sapphire is kind of better than Lotus. Well, then at that point, yeah. Ooh! Wait, it doesn't actually do anything, does it? Whatever. It's fine. It's a blue mana. Alright, can we play... Well, the, the problem is, even if we Teferi lock our opponent next turn, they still have Constructs, right? That's kind of an issue. Because theoretically, we could tinker, we could get Mystical for Tinker, and then we could go Teferi Tinker next turn. And if my opponent didn't have a Saga, that would actually lock them out. We'll probably just get... An ancestral and go Lavinia or Teferi Ancestral, maybe, or a Lavinia Ancestral, maybe Lavinia Ancestral, probably. I think it's better than like going for a Tinker Teferi where they're making a 4 4 5 5. Yeah, let's just go get Ancestral. I wonder which is a better play, Lavinia or Teferi here. Probably Lavinia, considering they have a way to kill Teferi on board. My blue-black Saga opponent is not going to struggle to beat Sphinx. They're just going to Tinker kill me or Volt Key. I don't, I don't think that's going to be an issue. I don't think I want to get a, a Sphinx in this matchup. All right, I'm going to play a Lavinia... Hope this resolves. Even if it doesn't resolve, my Ancestral probably resolves after anyways. Alright, resolves. Ancestral resolves. <sighs> Can't misstep it. None of that. What are we doing? We're spinning? Can't dismember. I don't know what's happening. We have something. The good news is that, like, after my opponent makes constructs, we can always just ferry them away. What, what is going on? Gonna play a black spell? Alright, we're drawing cards. Sapphire, Lorien, Dranith Magistry. Okay. Probably want to hard cast this. See what happens. This looks like a good game so far from our side. Obviously, opponent's going to make two five fives, six sixes. But I don't think that it... Why does my opponent have a ray of enfeeblement in game one? Who did this? Was it Dom Harvey? I bet it was Dom Harvey. Who the... F Who did this? Yeah, it was dumb. 
Why, why does my opponent have a ray of enfeeblement in game one? All right, I'm going to have to pitch my Lorian, I think. I think this Lavinia is so good in play, so I'm going to just save it. They're going to lose their only land. Like, it's got to be great for us to have this Lavinia in play. Someone clip that and send it to Dom. I need someone needs to be held accountable for this. <laughs> someone has to be held accountable for what just happened to me. <laughs> oh. All right, the good news is my opponent can't cast any spells currently. The bad news is if my opponent plays an Urza Saga, we are so far behind. This deck can't really afford to play a dress down in it, so I don't know what the plan would be. Just like more swords, I guess. But, I don't know. I still think we're in a good spot. I'm really sad I had to pitch my Lorien because throwing three would have been really nice here. Is this Tinker Initiative with Knowledge Pool? I mean, you could theoretically classify the deck as, yes, you could you could say that. <laughs> I, I don't know if that's how I would classify the deck, but. All right, so. Formir, okay, so light. Blue, I guess we can not use that right away. We'll do blue, white, Teferi. Well, Tinker Initiative is just a figment of your imagination. What is happening? <laughs> because you just top deck Talarian. I hate this game. <sighs> like one hole breacher, whatever, I bounce it. It's fine. This is so bad. Everything that can go wrong is going wrong, I swear. All right, I'm just done. Let's go next. I can't even draw cards because there's whole breachers in play. Thank you, Magic Online. I guess I should just be happy that I didn't cast my Lorian reveal into a two whole breachers. Right? Let's just think of like the bright side, right? I think that makes sense. But you got to think about. You gotta think about the bright side. Uh, whatever. I thought we were gonna win that game. I really did. I truly believed. <laughs> yeah, you didn't think Magic Online was coded like that? Absolutely, Hole Breacher stops you from drawing after the game has ended. <laughs> Absolutely. 100% does. No, they don't get a treasure because like that. I think that function is like no longer running, but like the end of the game, like look at more cards is literally just draw more cards. So it does stop that. All right, well, I hope we have a better hand than this. Oh, chat. 
It's just not working out, man. I just one little little helper. No. What is this hand? <laughs> get me, get me out, man. Get me out. Me out. I don't think we have I don't think we have it in us anymore. I, I think <laughs> I think the belief is failing. I think I'm running out of uh the the hopium juice. Just let me play the game. There's one strip mine in your deck. Pole Breacher. Watch. You ready, chat? Opponent's going to get punished for not casting their Hole Breacher on their main fees. I drew the perfect card to punish my opponent's misplay. Do it. Oh, they didn't cast the Hole Breacher. You think they have it? You think they're holding it up? Right, let's find out. How did they know? How did they know I top decked Ancestral after playing Cavern? How do they know? How did they, how how did they, how did they know? Okay, round uh four. Round four. You yeah, this hand is bad, but I'm gonna keep it. We're gonna draw the Lavinia, cast Cavern Lavinia on turn one. It's fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, shops. Wow. Shops. Okay. Uh-huh. We drew our we drew our mental misstep, so that's how you know that <laughs> we drew the card that has no legal targets in their in their deck. They have like one soul ring. That's how you know how well this is going. What is that? Mycosynth Gardens. You can make it a you can make another sphere? No. No no. No. Okay. All right. Combination gaming. All right. If my opponent doesn't play another spear and doesn't wasteland me, I can mystical for an ancestral. No, just forever. For it's it's a spear forever. It's it's bad for the home team. Oh oh. Got him. Damn it. I don't think that helped us very much, but... Okay, sure. Crucible. All right. They don't have a wasteland yet. The minute they cast... The minute they find a wasteland, everything is bad for us. I need to find some land drops. That is a land drop. And this costs two, so we are done. No, uh, no wasteland, please. Man, why do they all have Talarian Academies? All of our workshop opponents have just slammed Talarian Academies. Uh, okay. I, I, I understand. I will not cast any spells. I get it. <laughs> We're still doing things? They haven't had a land drop in years. Oh no, it's over. It's over. Wait, no, if we hit a land drop, if we hit a land drop, then we can cast Tinker for Sphinx. And I think we can win. Just need to hit a land drop. Just, just need to hit a land drop. Hmm. 
Okay, we'll go next. I think there is one VOD missing from a previous stream, someone. I think it... I think... They took it down because I played songs at the beginning of it or something. I did not have one more turn, hashtag, because my opponent was going to strip mine me and then strip mine me again. So I, I did not have one more turn. All right, so I'm going to bring in Herkel's Recall. I'm going to take out <laughs> Draneth Magistrate. No, no, I'm going to take out Swords and Draneth Magistrate. So the... Is it missing? Is it, is it still not putting up VODs, or is it only missing one VOD? Um, someone? Because it might have, like, switched off automatic VODs because I did that. I played like one song at the beginning of the stream while I was chilling out and it was like, you are done forever. Oh, it's not showing up today. I'll have to go take a look at the settings. That's kind of unfortunate. Um... Okay. I like this. Start with a Teferi. Well, actually, no. We'll probably start with a Bormir. Uh, just because it will hit their Moxon. That way, the Teferi doesn't get, like, revoked or something anyways. We'll take a look in between rounds. I definitely want my VODs to be showing up, so... The fact that there's no VODs from today is unfortunate, for sure. But, if you really want to see it, it will always go up on YouTube, so... Just might be a couple days. All right, so my opponent can't play any spells that cost no mana to cast. So that turns off their Moxin at the very least. But they still have access to, like, Workshop 3 Balls and stuff like that. We have a lot of mana to start here. And we have a Teferi coming down, which will be helpful. Obviously, this card doesn't do anything right now, but... All right, that's a Mycosynth Gardens. And a... One mana card, I assume. And not a one mana card. Okay. Flooded Strand. I think I am interested in plussing my Teferi. Um, obviously, the, there's a downside here where my opponent could play like a uh, Phyrexian Revoker. But I don't think I gain very much by just cantripping with a Moxin, where I gain a lot if I like bounce something that actually costs mana from them. Like a Lodestone Golem or something like that. Thorn. Sure, that's fine. Might not even bounce that, depending on what we draw. Tundra. I probably will still bounce this, though, just because I think we have so many good draws. Any creature here. Lavinia is super good. Seasoned Engineer is super good. Uh, Lotus casts Sphinx, I guess. <laughs> Blue, white, black. All right, this is a Golos. Going to punish me for... Yeah. I think we drew a little bit too much mana here. I kind of wish I hadn't bounced that thorn. I'm also, I also drew both Draneth Magistrates, which I can't say is a good thing. <laughs> uh... Not a happy Justin here. Kind of needed to draw other cards. Just cast Sphinx. 
Well, you see, we need a black mana to do that, which is not exactly easy to come by. Yeah, yeah, this is a donation deck list that has a lot of cards that are good against Beseech the Mirror. We've played uh, nine rounds of Magic tonight and faced zero Beseech the Mirror, though, so... Not exactly the uh, best uh, pairings. Cavern of Souls is on human. This is a Sphinx. So my opponent has a Ghost Quarter Saga Crucible lock. That's bad for me. I believe I am going to lose this game. I can't. I just can't draw anything that I don't even have like very many things left to fetch anymore. I actually have to go get one of my basics because I don't want my thing in play to be dead. Six mana draw. All right. Well, I drew Hercules. I don't think this is winning, though. Like, my opponent is still looping Sagas and has Golos. So I kind of need to draw, like, Tinker so I can, like, Hercules them and then Tinker into the, the thing. But then I'm still into, like, the Knowledge Pool. Uh, it looks really bad for me, I must say. That's Tinker, so... If I cast this for three and then Hercules for four... Four, if my opponent doesn't ghost quarter me. Well, if they, even if they ghost quarter me. So maybe I just cast Hercules and Mystical. The problem is they're going to still make a Construct. They could also Mycosynth Gardens. All right, I think I, can't, I think I can't play Lavinia. I think I just have to hold everything up and go for an end of turn Hercules. And then tinker into a, a knowledge pool. Uh, I guess I just get the ring going. I wonder if they have like a bunch of moxes in their hand that they think they can't play. All right, so I'm going to take this shot to the face. That's going to hurt. So what I, ha I have to beat a single, a two Construct tokens if I do this. So I'm going to have to draw my other Hercules Recall probably, or a Swords. What is this? They're going to make, oh, wow, they're going to make one right now? Oh, they're going to make another Sphere. Okay, yeah, that's fine. That's one less Construct token that I have to beat. Okay, I think this game is winnable now. See what happens. Another another sphere. Okay. So I think we can win this game now. What we'll do is we'll Hercules our opponent for six mana at the end of this turn, which is the perfect amount of mana. And then we'll mystical for Tinker. Tabernacle Mana Crypt. We'll just go Lavinia Tinker. Is that better than going Tinker? I can't go Lorian. So yeah, so we'll go Lavinia and Tinker. And I'm going to get a Knowledge Pool. All right, so the Knowledge Pool, each player exiles six cards. Whenever a player casts a spell from their hand, that player exiles it, and then they can cast a spell from the... Ooh, they're off it! Let's go! So they're locked out of casting spells, but we do still have to beat a Construct token. 
But if we have like any removal spell, no. So we would cast this Lorien and maybe cast one of their spells or something. And then every soul ring can cast a spell from inside the knowledge pool. I think we're probably beating a single construct token. Oh, I don't even bring any swords. Just the two Hercules, huh? Interesting. All right, we got a win there. That was a pretty big win. Oh, I guess the token's really small because they don't have any artifacts. True. Oh, did they get rid of... Oh, they got rid of their garden so they couldn't even make a construct. You're right. They're just locked out. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't really think about that. Oh, I, I, did, I didn't board the mental misstep out. That's kind of a mistake on my part. This looks like a keep, though. You're right. I forgot that they made a, a sphere resistance. It, it made sense for them to, like, make a bunch of spheres, but they couldn't make enough spheres for... All right, well, I didn't mean to keep this in, but... It made, it made sense for them to make a bunch of... We just got mental misstep for our mental misstep? That's not good. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. I think we would have been on our... All right, well, this is not good for the home team. We need some help. Hello, help. Nice of you to stop by. Opponent has no rod. Interesting. Ghost Quarter Mystic Forge. Okay. I think I want to hold this load it. Well, if they no rod me, it's not even good for them. What if we just like cast this black this mystic this knowledge pool next turn? I guess we're kind of close to casting Sphinx too. If we cast this knowledge pool, are we gonna be winning from it? Maybe. Maybe not. I'm just going to hold on to this Lotus. I don't think I want them to cast... Well, I kind of do want them to cast an Rod. <laughs> I actually kind of hope they cast Mystic Forge so we can just force it. And they don't get any Construct Tokens is what I kind of want the most. Hmm. We kind of needed like a one of our... 13 effects. Oh, wow, they actually went for that. That's really good for us. I'll just force this and pitch the Sphinx. We kind of wanted one of our, like, things that make the Knowledge Pool combo off. Expedition map. Okay. So my opponent just has a Null Rod in hand. Can I get, like, a Teferi? I got a Tinker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, well, it's a thing that we can pitch the Force of Will. So if I play a knowledge pool right now, they get to cast the first spell out of the knowledge pool. That's not good. So I think I just need to ponder and find something better. Okay, so we have our combo pieces now. So let's draw... Lavinia is better than Magistry. So let's just draw Lavinia and then we'll draw Ruby next turn when we cast our thing so we'll draw this we'll play on human and we'll play blue white we'll play this and then just in case they draw like a second and something i just play this no this loads out so next turn we cast knowledge pool and we lock the game up and then we cast ruby and we cast something out of the knowledge pool which I think is winning. And we just have to beat the onboard construct. And also this Urza Saga goes away, so it's kind of hard for them to cast things through Lavinia. That ponder was so good. That ponder was incredible. Though I guess they could like expedition map for a workshop, maybe. And that ponder was actually great, because this Lavinia is super strong right now. And this, this Tinker's not even bad, because it's a blue card. And the Ruby's actually not bad, because it, we can actually cast something out of our Knowledge Pool. Maybe we can get, like, a Golos from their deck or something. Alright, so they got a Mana Vault. That might kind of makes me think they drew, like, a, a Golos or something.
Oh, they're going to activate. Okay. Maybe if they get a Saga here, it's actually kind of good for them. If they Null Rod us. Well, they're not going to be able to Null Rod us. If they Null Rod us right now, I have to force it. But if they don't Null Rod us right now, then they just can't cast the Null Rod. Or they can cast the Null Rod. But it, right, so they went for Strip Mine. So they have Strip Mine. So they went for Academy. So their last card is Academy. So this is fine. I just force this Null Rod. And then if they strip me, I do need to draw a land. Okay, so they stripped that. All right, so my Ruby lets me play the, no the, the Knowledge Pool, and then the game is locked up, but then I still need to beat the Construct, which might not happen, so... Oh, they did it after I drew. It's actually kind of good for me because if they had done it before, I would have shuffled the ruby. But now I still have the planes. The problem is we are going to have to draw something that we can cast. So there's a go there's multiple golos underneath here. So all we need to do now is draw something we can cast and we win. If we don't, before this construct kills us, we lose. Though they can cast spells to cast spells out of the knowledge pool that will get countered, but they can, like, get rid of good spells out of the knowledge pool. So that's okay. All right, so I need to draw a spell that I can cast with white mana only. <laughs> no, that's not one. So I guess this ghost quarter might, might ruin my day, huh? I have a nice life total against the 4-4, though. Come on. Can I? Come on. Well, they can cast one of their spells that triggers the Knowledge Pool. So, like, if they have a 1-drop, they could cast a 1-drop. And then it would then it would instead, you know, when they cast the spell, it gets exiled, and this happens. So, All right. Draineth Magistrate. Here we go. So, I cast Draineth Magistrate. It gets exiled by the Knowledge Pool. And then I just cast a Golos out of the Knowledge Pool and go get a land. Talarian Academy, sure. And now I'm actually blocking this forever and I'm winning the game. Voila. This deck is really cool when it works. <laughs> so next what we're going to do is we're going to cast a Teferi and cast a Lorien Revealed. It's going to be fun. Or a Bohemir, that works too. Alright, so we'll cast Boromir and then we're going to cast... Lorien Revealed. And then we'll cast Mana Crypt. And we'll cast Time Walk. And then we'll cast Teferi. I wish I could cast uh, this Hercules, but we'll cast Teferi. And we'll get a uh, Vormir. Oh, if I cast Hercules first, then I would have been able to cast it. Then I'll cast Hercules, and I'll get a Teferi, and I'll bounce the Construct. <laughs> I should have cast it the other order. I should have cast Hercules and got a Boromir, and then I should have cast Teferi and got a Hercules. GG's, opponent, GG's. Let's go. We did the thing. All right, here we go. Fifth and final round with our sweet, sweet brew. We've got a turn one Lavinia, unfortunately, on the draw. Or Boromir. Yeah, probably a keep, though. Let's see what opponent has for us. I typically do not recommend playing blue-white initiative lists. I don't think they're very good. I think the, least, the, the lower number of initiative creatures you play in your Esper Tinker deck is the better. I don't think it's bad to play like a couple, but I would be like play one main and two side or something. Like you can do that. Your your Esper Tinker list isn't going to hurt so much if you do that. God damn it. Okay, sure, friend. Why not? Okay. Turn one Karn. Pretty good against Magic the Gathering decks. They just got a Tormod script. Interesting. Does that mean they're POing me next turn?
Okay, he got an opponent. Don't think believe we're gonna win this game, but I kind of need to see more of my opponent's deck, unfortunately. Though if we do play against a PO deck, our deck is quite good against that. Saga too, yeah. Imagine if they just had a an extra mana here, they could get the lattice and block me out. GG, turn two. This deck has to play less Draineth Magistrates, though. That's something we need to do, for sure. The only combo with Draineth Magistrate is the Knowledge Pool, which is not good enough. Like, it technically stops, like, some of my opponent's other stuff that's happening. Like, I don't know, like a Citadel or something like that. But why is my opponent getting all this anti-graveyard cards? <laughs> why are we brainstorming after playing a Saga? What's going on? What is happening? Land? All right, they didn't hit a land, so I guess I lose. They didn't even, like, uh, play this little guy Lantern. I'm so confused. The trick is, if you build a, a Tinker deck in Vintage, it doesn't really matter what you choose to use your flex slots on. So you can play Blue White Initiative Tinker. It's going to work out fine. I just don't think it's, like, the best use of your flex slots in a Tinker deck. But, like, the last 10 cards in your Tinker deck just kind of don't matter. My opponent should probably kill off their Mana Crib with their Karn, but they're also making Constructs, so it doesn't really matter what I do here. I really need to... All right, get me out of here. I wanted to see more of my opponent's deck, but I think all I'm going to see is Constructs in my face. So, I'm just going to bring in Null Rods, and I'm going to take out uh, Sphinx, Magistrate, Magistrate, leave in the Swords, and hit Submit. And we'll see what happens. So we played against zero Beseech players in 10 rounds tonight, which is not great for our anti-Beseech deck. I think this is a pretty nice keep, though. This might be one of our better hands of the evening. We've got Lotus Petal, Uncounterable Lavinia on turn one into an extra land off of Lorien. It's going to be quite good for us. I mean, they can. Typically, like, the lowest bar I set for my flex slots in my Tinker deck is just to be blue. Um, like, if, you're, if your flex slots are blue, it doesn't really matter how bad your cards you're playing are because they can pitch to Force of Will. So you can kind of play all kinds of uh, random fun ofs that you'd like in Vintage if you just, like, play a blue Tinker deck and then have your flex slots be extra blue cards that you think are fun. Human. All right. I've got a turn one uncounterable Lavinia. I hope that's good enough to beat your deck because if it's not good enough to beat your deck, I have an issue. Mm hmm. Fetch land. Not a good sign. Oh, got him. Nice chalice check. I understand. You gotta, you gotta see. You gotta, you gotta keep, you gotta keep MTGO on its toes, you know? You don't, you don't want to give it free equity. You never know when MTO might be bugged. <laughs> uh, I'm going to jam a Null Rod. As, mm, no, Null Rod is actually probably worse here than cycling a Lorien and getting my land for Boromir. Probably true. Uh-oh. End of turn. Tutor? Mystical for Ancestral? I, oh, just has Ancestral. Oh. So your hand, your starting hand was Ancestral Black Lotus? That seems a little unfair. All right, well, now maybe I need to Null Rod them. Oh, wait, they missed on their land drops after casting Ancestral? Sheesh. I do think I'm going to cast this Null Rod, though, because I don't want to randomly... I guess I can't randomly lose unless they have, like, land, time walk, land... If they have land, time walk, land, time vault, that would kill me. Right, I guess I can find out. Show me your secrets. My opponent has... Oh, they are playing P.O. That's exciting. All right. I don't have to turn off their stuff. All 
All right, gotta get the clock on. All right, so my opponent is playing Paradoxical Outcome, a bold choice, a, an admirable choice, uh, but maybe not the best look. But PO is again the flex slot you can play in your in your Tinker deck, and not the worst. What else we got? Maybe my opponent will just concede if I cast this. Uh, no? How does it make you feel, opponent? Alright, my opponent really can't ca cast free spells. Nice. Two more turns of attacking, so... Should be in a good spot. Alright, they should want to see more, I guess. You want more, more, more... Attack. All right. We have successfully vanquished the evil PO player with their Black Lotus start. But now we have to be on the draw. Less than ideal. I don't think I actually want Hercules. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll keep a Hercules so that we have the option of uh, uh, balancing all their constructs. I think that's nice to have. We have a Mystical in our deck, so it's like we're, it's like we're playing two copies. All right, so we're looking for our opening hand. We're looking for a force, and then we're looking for a turn one Null Rod or Lavinia. That's what we're looking for. We've got a force, and we have a turn two Null Rod Lavinia. <laughs> That's probably good enough. Almost ideal. Island, Ponder, Resolvers. All right. Moxen are my best draw here, for sure. Specifically, Lotus Island. Oh, sorry, Lotus Sapphire, Petal, and Pearl. But even off color Moxin for an Ulrod is not bad. Yeah, Mana Crypt, Mana Vault. All right, I'd love any Moxin in my deck. Any Moxin in my deck. I did not draw a Moxin in my deck. All right, well, I hope my opponent doesn't tinker me with force backup. I have the tools. Opponent also can have the tools. Tinker with Flusterstorm backup. PO for two. Lavinia of your own. Pass. Interesting. All right, well, I have to do this. Just go get another Tundra. All right, so I think my first cast is Lavinia. Hopefully get a, a Cavern is pretty good, too. I drew the Pearl after. Four, of course, of course. All right, well, I'm going to play the Lavinia. Let's see if this can get resolves. Resolvers here would be good. We definitely still have winning chances in this game, but it's going to be hard. Force pitching misstep. Now, they had hard cast force available. I think I'm going to just let it go and try to resolve my null rod. They also have like the ability to fluster storm there. I think it's just not a great force back when I have another payoff. Uh, all right. Well, they know I have. They know everything I have now. Okay. I guess there will be a question of whether I cycle this Lorian. I have to. I have to cycle the Lorian for sure. Okay. Another land. Two cards in my opponent's hand. They could now have Force Fluster, but that would be okay. They'd be at nothing. If I don't cycle the Lorian and I do draw land, I can actually have an extra counterspell for Pio. Probably not worth it, though. Probably better to just keep hitting my land drops as I push towards a knowledge pool. Uh, 
I would think, but I never really liked Hercules against PO anyways. It's mostly just a stopgap for possible issues. Okay, so that still gets two sources. All right, well, I'm going to cast Null Rod and see how that goes for the home team. This is going to be PO in response. Looks like PO in response. Snap in response. Snap force. Interesting. Uh, I guess we'll counter the Snapcaster Mage then. They could PO right after this. It's quite good for them, but... I don't think countering the force and leaving them with Snapcaster is like that good for us. But it might be slightly better. Though this gives them a creature in play that they can peel later if they hit land drops. Yeah. I'll take the bait here. And if they fluster, they can't force anyways. So it's just a Snapcaster. They have Hardcast Force, I guess, if they have Snap Hardcast Force. Okay, they don't. All right, so they have a Mana Crypt in play and a tapped Mana Vault in play. That's a lot of damage. They have three lands, so they can still play the game. It's kind of going to be an interesting way to... I'm not 100% sure who I think is more likely to win from here. I guess if they draw a Saga, it's quite good. They won their Crypt Flip. They drew something. Tinker? Wow, they drew Tinker. That's incredible. Huh. All right, well, we need to draw any of our Lavinias or Dranith Magistrates, I guess. This game basically just got ran over. We had a great spot, and then now we're doomed. We got a lot of good draws, though, so... Oh, never mind. Everything's bad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Tinker's probably the best card in Vintage, so. Damn, our deck is so good against Tinker. It's crazy. They just had too many counters. I guess this game is still kind of playable because my opponent doesn't have infinite life here. Oh, they found a Saga, though. Nullrod is just a lot worse than Lavinia against my opponent's stack, unfortunately. So we still have three Boromirs, three Lavinias, two Dranith Magistrates, Teferi, Taxian Probe doesn't draw a card. Okay. Just getting bullied by Tinker in our anti-Tinker deck. Just so sad. Yeah. So do they have a repeal? Come on. Time walk. All right. So they don't have a repeal in their deck. They just, they're just playing a deck with zero answers to Null Rod? My lord. I guess. I can't say that I agree with that deck construction, but... Like, no, Pio is like one of the weakest decks against against Null Run. They picked up a force off their Narset, so now we're actually straight up doomed. We needed our Lavinia to resolve. Maybe I should have just fought over the Lavinia. If I fought over the Lavinia in this game, I think we would have won the game. That's kind of upsetting, but it just didn't look like a good... It didn't look like a good spot to fight over Lavinia. Oh, I guess would I have gotten Snap Forced in that spot? I think I would have gotten Snap Forced, so maybe it wouldn't have even mattered. I also probably would have snapped attacked my stupid Lavinia into an Ambush Viper anyways. Um, yeah. 
I do think that I kind of regret not forcing back anyways. Good lord. Okay. Yep. Rough way to end, because I thought we were in a pretty good spot in that game. But not even that bad of a showing. Getting 2-3 with this uh, donation deck is not the end of the world by any means. Uh, I do think that like playing a bunch of Lavinias and Teferis and, and is pretty powerful, but we definitely played too many Dranith Magistrates in our deck. Uh, and then I, we got kind of unlucky. Like, I do think that the, the jewel matchup is one of our single best matchups in the entire world. Like we have so many cards that are good against jewel, but jewel is so powerful that if they just like happen to have too strong of a hand, you, you get kind of run over. And I, I actually do think that the, like the knowledge pool to fairy knowledge pool, Lavinia, Boromir, like it seemed pretty reasonable. It came up a lot and it was legitimately good multiple times. The only card in this deck that is, like, super suspect is the Dranith Magistrates. So, like, honestly, if you take the Dranith Magistrates out and you play some better blue-white cards, like, I don't even think this deck is bad. It seems, like, totally playable. The problem with Dranith Magistrate is the problem with a lot of people's, like, fun brews is that you took two bad cards and tried to make a good card. Instead of doing that, you should take good cards and try to do something powerful. So we took one bad card and then a bunch of good cards, these cards, and we made it actually like a game-winning play. But if you like have to have a Dranith Magistrate and a Knowledge Pool, then you have two bad cards and you draw them both al alone and they're both bad. Whereas if you draw a Lavinia or Boromir or a Teferi alone, it's still going to be good. Um, and that's just like something you should do in deck building is you should try to stick away from like the synergy jack decks that are a bunch of bad cards that together become good. It's usually better to play like the like Beseech is a pretty good example where Beseech is so good with good cards. Like you're beseeching for Yogwill and you're beseeching for Tinker and these cards. There's no reason for you to beseech for uh, the suspend cards that like are bad normally, but if you beseech them, they're going to be better. Like you can don't you don't have to do that. Just play the good cards. <laughs> uh, I don't know blue cards probably. Maybe you can play like two Force of Negation. A, an extra source to plowshares and maybe something that loot like having to get extra forces like lets you pitch your extra lavinias and extra teferis a little bit better you probably need to have answers to constructs a little better so maybe you play merchant scroll and main deck hercules or maybe you play dress down which is not a great card to play unfortunately with boromir lavinia uh, so maybe not dress down. Maybe you just play some extra initiative creatures. Maybe you play some wastelands. Uh, you could definitely play some wastelands in this deck because you play Lorien. So you could play some w wastelands. I thought the Boromirs were fine, actually. It's a pretty large body, and it's just an extra Lavinia effect. The the Boromir is like a much more palatable card than a oh, Dranith Magistrate. The Dranith Magistrate. You could play Archon. Archon is totally fine. Yeah. You could play four Archons instead. I don't mind that. And then you have to make sure we do any more blue count for 12. Yeah, our blue count's still insane. So yeah, maybe you just play four Archons and that's just a way better way of doing this. I think the end-all be-all is just like, don't play Dranith Magistrate. <laughs> four Archons probably make this deck quite reasonable. You might want to like take out one Boromir and add another Swords or something. Archon locks us out. I don't think that's a big deal. Our deck is not like casting multiple spells in a turn very much. Like, when we already have a Knowledge Pool lock, we don't care about casting multiple spells a turn anyways, and, like, our deck is not really a deck that's casting multiple spells. It's usually a one spell per turn deck. So I think, like, Archon makes a ton of sense here. So this looks fine. This looks better. So, thanks for watching more vintage content on the YouTube channel, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. I'll see you then.